Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Ken and this is Ken's Guitar Workshop and we're getting about ready to glue this flame maple top on this Deacon copy. So let's do it. <laughs> So finally getting to gluing this top on. Been looking forward to this for a while. Every time I go through this procedure, I always notice that I never have enough clamps. I think uh, for my birthday, which is coming up pretty soon, I'm going to treat myself to a vacuum bag assembly and make this task a little easier. As you can see under every clamp I'm putting a tiny block of wood and this is going to keep the clamp from denting the, the maple in the top. I've had that happen before and then you have to steam them all out. Not this time. All right, she's all clamped up. Let's give her a few hours and then we'll be back to break her out of the clamps. Morning, so it's the next day. Let's tear this sucker out of the clamps. Alright, this looks pretty good, so I'll glue down nice and tight. 
We're almost ready to cut this off right here and then sand the top at the same angle as the arm contour. There's our nice center seam lined up perfectly in the back. Not so much in the front, it's off maybe an eighth of an inch or so. Not the end of the world. So we gotta work on the arm contour. We gotta cut this off so it just looks like one piece on the top here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it over to the router and we're gonna square up the top with the rest of the body. When I originally set up the router for this job, um, I was using a bottom bearing bit and I had to raise it so high that the collet on the router came up too high in the table and it actually hit the body. You'll see as I route it around the top horn here, you'll see a burn mark. There's the boo-boo. At that point, I um, pulled that bit off and put a top bearing bit on. Fortunately, the body is about an eighth of an inch larger all the way around the outside. So I should be able to uh, clean that up pretty easily and still not affect the outline of the guitar. Because the bit I ended up using wasn't uh, one of my newer bits, it was an older one. Uh, and as will happen occasionally is uh, router bits will leave small burn marks around the edge. We're taking care of that now, we're sanding it off. I'm also cleaning up that area that had gotten burnt when the body hit the router collet. You can see right here that we've taken care of that burn mark where the body hit the collet on the router. Smoothing the whole top out. It's really starting to look really nice here. All right, that's what we're gonna call it quits for today. Uh, we'll be back next time and we're going to take care of this arm contour. Um, I'd like to take an opportunity now to ask you if you haven't subscribed to do so and click the notification bell if you're interested in this build. Um, you'll get notifications the next time the video comes out. Uh, like and share. I'd appreciate that. Um, you guys behave yourself and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.